Hey and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I want to talk about some tips to improve the quality of your GoPro footage when filming underwater and I think I'm going to be talking about 9 or 10 tips so I hope you find at least one of these tips helpful and let's get started with the video. So my first tip would be to pick a sunny day to film underwater and also try to film before the sun sets. GoPros really don't perform that well in low light conditions. When you're underwater a lot of the light is going to get absorbed by the water so it's going to be even darker than when you're above water. As you can see in these two videos, on days where there is a lot of light, the GoPro can capture much more detail and a cleaner video. Also, on days when there is no sunlight, the clarity of the water is very bad as well, which also affects the quality of your footage. The last point is, when you're filming in lower light conditions with the GoPro, you have to up the ISO value to make up for the lack of light. And when you up the ISO, you're going to get footage that is more grainy and not as clear. The next tip is, if you're trying to get a clear video of your subject, then try to make sure that the sun is behind you when you're shooting the video and that you're not shooting directly into the sunlight. Unless you're looking to get a silhouette kind of effect on your video, you definitely don't want to be shooting into the sun as your subject is just going to be a dark shadow. My next tip would be to turn on the grid lines on your GoPro and practice getting the subject of the video into the central square. This is a really important point to keep in mind as when you're on the water there's a lot of movement with the waves and then the swell kind of pushing you around and then also the marine animals that you're trying to film are going to be moving at higher speeds as well and on top of that you're probably going to be very excited if you have whales or dolphins or turtles swimming towards you so I think this is a very important point to keep in mind. A video that has the subject coming in and out of the frame and not in the center is not going to look very good. My next tip would be to make sure that you're using the optimal settings for your GoPro to get the best looking footage. The default settings that the GoPro come with I don't recommend too much, so I would try to use something along the lines of this. And for GoPro underwater settings I have many videos on my channel, so I would recommend taking a look at those if you haven't already. And I think I have tutorials on several different GoPro models, so please take a look at these videos and I'll also leave a link in the description below. My next tip is to try to stay near the surface to get the best looking footage and this kind of fits in with the first two tips in that the more light there is for your GoPro to capture the better the quality of the footage is going to be and when you're underwater the deeper you dive down the less light there is going to be available for your GoPro to capture. Just as an example if I were to be filming let's say a turtle or a dolphin I would try to stay near the surface and stay as calm and quiet as possible to not scare the animals away and then wait for the opportunity when they're surfacing up to breathe air to film the video. My next tip to make your GoPro footage look better would be learn how to color grade. Here is a before and after of a underwater GoPro footage before grading and after grading. I find that a lot of GoPro underwater footage straight out of the camera has a very blue and green tint to it and by adjusting the colours so that the reds are a little bit stronger it makes the GoPro footage look more natural and appealing to the eye. For colour grading I personally use a software called DaVinci Resolve on my laptop and there are a lot of tutorials online that will teach you how to colour grade so I would recommend looking at some of those and I have made a few tutorials myself so if you would like to check them out here is one of the videos. My next tip would be to make use of the slow motion on the GoPro. Here is the same clip in the regular speed that I took it at and in slow motion. And I wouldn't say slow motion is always the best idea, but it makes the footage look better in a lot of situations. And by setting your GoPro to film in higher frame rates like 60, 120 or 240, it gives you the option to make your footage into slow motion afterwards if you want to, or just keep it at the regular speed that you took it at. 
However, if you film at the lower frame rates like 24 or 30, you're not going to have the option to change your footage into slow motion later, so I don't recommend filming at lower frame rates on the GoPro underwater. So this is a video I accidentally filmed at 24 frames, and I kind of regret it as I don't have the option to change it into slow motion. If I try to change this clip into slow motion, it's going to be very unsmooth as there is not enough frames in the video to use slow motion. I guess this tip isn't a tip to kind of improve the quality of your footage, but it's very important to maintain your camera once you use it underwater, especially in the ocean. Just washing it off once with fresh water usually isn't enough. So what I usually do is I usually fill up a container with fresh water and submerge my GoPro inside there for between 20 to 30 minutes. And also I personally don't use a underwater case to record my videos. So I always make sure that there is no dust or hair trap between the battery door as if there is when you close the battery door it's not going to be completely watertight and your GoPro is going to be submerged. So just to be on the safe side I would probably recommend getting a underwater case for your GoPro and for these kind of things I recommend getting the official thing just to be sure. And my last tip isn't so much to do with just a GoPro, but when you're underwater with marine animals, just make sure to respect them and try not to scare them away or cause them any harm, as that kind of footage is not going to be good in any way. What I would recommend when you're underwater is to try to make as little noise as possible and try not to make any sudden movements. If you stay calm and respectful and quiet, sometimes the animals will become a little curious and come towards you like in these videos, and that's usually when I get the best looking footage. And I think that is going to be it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please consider liking and subscribing. And as always I will see you in the next video.